Hey everybody, this is Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Now, in the last lesson, we went over the basic fundamentals of the if statement. If test condition is true, then do everything between the then statement and the, the phi statement. Otherwise, just skip over that whole bunch of code. Now, what I wanted to do in this lesson is just show you that you can actually perform more than one test inside of an if statement. So let's get started. Once again, pound exclamation point slash bin slash ksh. Name your program. A little bit about what this program does. This program introduces multiple tests and, which is the double ampersand, or, which is the double vertical pipe, inside of an if statement. Then a little bit about yourself. Okay. Once again, we prompt the user to enter his or her age. Print dash n, dash n, no carriage return at the end of the print statement. Enter your age. We read in the age and store it in a variable called age. I then just wanted to print a blank line so it's easier to, for the user to see what's going on as they run the script. And then we ask the user to enter the number of children that they have with the print dash n statement and we save the information the number of children they enter in with the read uh, excuse me with the read statement and we put it in number of children variable okay here is our if statement it is a compound test statement so we have this is your whole test right here it says if age is less than 30, and once again, you put the test in between double parentheses. And we have another test also. It says the number of children is equivalent to zero, and we have that inside of double parentheses. And one thing I want you to remember is to do an equival equivalency test inside of an if statement, excuse me, inside of the double parens, you use a double equal sign. If you use a and a single equal sign, it will just take this value and assign it to here. That's if you have the single equal sign. Okay. So this is the, the strange part, this double ampersand. What this does is it says we have one test here and we have another test here. And if both of these tests come out true, then run everything from the then statement to the phi statement, but only if both of these statements are true. If one of them is true, we skip over what's in between the then statement and the phi statement. You don't need the single parentheses here. I put them in because that's the way my mind works. Once I see these single parens, I know that everything inside of it is one single huge test. Okay, so once again, if and only if your age is less than 30 and your number of children is equal to zero, then we will go inside of the then statement and run all of these commands till we hit the phi statement. If either one of these is not true, then we skip right down below the phi statement and start execution from right there. Okay, if it's true, then we print, if both of these are true, then we print single and loving it. Okay, so here we are. Next statement uses a little bit different of a compounding. This one says, if your age is greater than or equal to 30, or, and that's what these double parentheses mean, uh, excuse me, these double vertical lines, or if your number of children is greater than zero, then do everything in between the then statement and the phi statement. So this is a little different than the previous test. The previous TED test said if both statements were true, if both tests were true, then you go inside of the then portion of the if loop. This one says if either one of them is true, then go inside of the then statement portion of the if statement. 
So if either one is true, or if both of them is true, then we go inside of the then statement, the then to phi statement. So if you're over 30, or 30, if you're 30 or over, then we print bummer. Things could be worse. You could be a Cubs fan. So notice here that we had two statements inside of the then to phi. That's what I wanted to show you here. Let's run it. So once again, you need to make the program executable. Change mode. User plus execute for the name of the program. And then we run the program. Enter your age, 15. Enter number of children, 0. Single and loving it. Now that met both of the conditions for the AND statement, which were if you're under 30 and you have zero kids, then do the then print single and loving it. Now the next if statement had said if you're over 30 or your number of children is greater than zero, then we print bummer. Okay, so let's rerun this. Now notice I'm going to put in age 28, which is still under 30. However, I'm going to put number of children equals 1. So the very first test was the AND test, which said if your age is under 30, which is true, and you have zero children, which is false, then we would have printed single and loving it. But we didn't meet both conditions, so we don't execute what is inside of the IF statement. Now the next one, the next if statement said if you're over 30, which we're not, or if you have more than zero children, then print bummer. Which in this case is true. We did have enter the one child. So once again, you can put more than one test inside of an if statement and you join them together with an AND, the double ampersand, or the OR, which is the double vertical pipe, depending on what you want to test for.